PVL2602. We are on page 13 of the summary, chapter 16, Interpretation of Wills. The High Court is the only court that may interpret a will. The High Court is the only court that may interpret a will. The Magistrates Court has no jurisdiction to do so. When to interpret a will? The necessity for the interpretation of a will by the court arises only where there is some obscurity or ambiguity of the will. Repeat, the necessity to interpret a will by the court only when there is some obscurity or ambiguity. The principles of interpretation of wills. The golden rule. Wills in that the testator's intention and it appears from the word that he used to in his will. Repeat. The golden rule is wills is that the testator's intention and as it appears from the word he used in his will must be ascertained. The testator's intention as it appears in the word that he used must be ascertained. The golden rule is therefore to determine the testator's intention as it appears from his will as uh, when as his will as read as a whole the testator's intention as it appears from his will as read as a whole sources of interpretation sources of interpretation the will itself. Ordinary grammatical and everyday meaning. Ordinary grammatical and everyday meaning. Technical meaning, unless it is apparent from the context of the will. Technical meaning, unless it is apparent from the context of the will. Rectification, rectification occurs wherein the court adds or deletes words or rectifies an obvious mistake made by the testator in order to clarify the meaning of the will. Repeat, rectification occurs wherein the court adds or deletes words or rectifies an obvious mistake by a testator. That's rectification. Armchair evidence. Armchair evidence is the evidence which the sort uses to place itself in the position in which the testator was at the time of the making of the will by paying attention to all relevant facts and circumstances. Repeat, armchair evidence is the evidence which the sort uses to place itself in the position in which the testator was at the time of making the will by paying attention to all the relevant facts and circumstances. Extrinsic, extrinsic evidence, repeat, extrinsic evidence is the evidence outside the document itself. In other words, evidence from facts 
which do not appear in the document itself. Evidence from facts which do not appear in the document itself. That is ex extrinsic evidence. Extrinsic evidence. Where the will is clear and testator's intention appears clearly from it, no extrinsic evidence is admissible. Where the will is clear and the testator's intention appears clearly, no extrinsic evidence is admissible. Rectification. Rectification. Rectification takes place where a court adds or deletes or changes something in a will because the testator made a mistake when making the will and the will does not reflect his intention correctly. That's called rectification. Rectification occurs where a court adds or deletes or changes something in the will because the testator made a mistake when making the will and the will does not reflect his intention correctly. A will can be rectified when a will after the testator's death a mistake in the will and the will therefore does not represent the testator's intention. The court will then rectify the will. Prerequisites for, requisite for rectification. Because of mistake, the will itself does not represent the testator's intention of what the testator really meant to say needs to be proven. Extent of court's power to rectify. The extent of the court's power to rectify. Clerical mistake. For example, 10,000 instead of saying 1,000. Words or clauses can be inserted erroneously. A word or clause can be omitted erroneously. Presumptions. Person may, person may die partly interstate and partly testate. Presumption that the testator intended for all his children to inherit. If a, testa if a testator had a will and when he dies, the will cannot be found as it is presumed that he had destroyed it. That is to do with presumptions. Cost of rectification and borne by the testator's estate. Cost of rectification are borne by the testator's estate. Repeat. The costs of rectification shall be borne by the testator's estate estate. Administration of deceased estates. The master of the high court is the upper guardian of all minor persons. The master of the high court is the upper guardian of all minor persons. He, is also, he also supervises the administration of deceased estates. He supervises the administration of deceased estates. Repeat, the master of the high court is the upper guardian of all minor persons. 
He also supervises the administration of all deceased estates. Death Notice Section 7. The death notice is to prepare and lodge is prepared and lodged with the master when a person dies. The duty of the surviving spouse or nearest relative or person in control of the property. Registration of wills. Every person who has a will in his possession at the time of his death shall forthwith deliver this will to the master or magistrate concerned. This does not necessarily mean that the will is valid. Page 14. Preparation of an inventory. Two inventories are to be lodged with the master. Two inventories are to be lodged with the master. The first, the first inventory. This is the preliminary inventory, preliminary inventory before the LE and the second inventory must be compiled by the executor after his or her appointment. So there are two inventories. The first inventory before the LE and the second inventory must be compiled. The second inventory must be compiled by the executor after his or her appointment. Provided a classification of assets under four categories, immovable, movable, claims in favor of the estate, and cash found in the estate. Executor is the person who normally winds up the estate. The executor is the person who normally winds up the estate. He or she has the power to accept payment on behalf of the estate and to transfer the ownership of the assets of the estate to pay the estate creditors and to distribute the remaining assets amongst the legatees as and as of the estate. Repeat, the executor is the person, the executor is the person who winds up the deceased estate. He or she has the power to accept payment on behalf of the estate. He has power to accept payment on behalf of the estate. He can transfer ownership of assets in the estate. He can pay the creditors and can distribute the remaining assets, legatees and heirs of the estate. Security. The general rule is security is required by all executors unless they are testamentary or assumed and have exempted, have been exempted by the will from providing security or are close family members of the testator. Security. As a general rule, Security is required, as a general rule, security is required by all executors. As a general rule, security is required by all executors. They are testamentary or assumed and have been exempted by the will from providing security or are close family members of the testator. Example, the spouse. Repeat, security. As a general rule, um, security is required for all executors, except where they are testamentary or assumed and have been exempted by the will from providing security or are close family members. 
LE for issuing of letters of executorship. LE the issuing of letters of executorship entitles the person to whom they are granted to administer the assets in South Africa. That's the letter of executorship. The letter of executorship, better known as LE. The duties of the executor. The duties of the executor. The executor is in a position of trust in relation to the estate. The executor is in a position of trust in relation to the estate. Common law must be must disclose any personal interest they may have when dealing with their fiduciary duties. Repeat, they must disclose any personal interest they may have when dealing with their fiduciary duties. They may not reap any secret profits if an executor buys property from the estate and they need to ask the court for permission to do so. They need to ask the court permission to do so. They may not reap any secret profits if, the exe if an executor buys property from the estate. They need to ask the court permission to do so. Duties set out in the Act to preserve the estate during its administration and to liquidate the estate. Duties set out in the Act to preserve the estate during its administration and to liquidate the estate.